Aquarius, you are up for the June Tarot Energy Reading. Before I go any further, KIRWKC.com, main podcasting platform. This podcast is carried on Apple, Spotify, Google, iHeartRadio, Pandora, Overcast, Bullhorn, Amazon Music, Audible, and several other podcasting platforms. Please feel free to listen to this podcast on whatever platform is most convenient for you. KIRWKC on all the social media platforms. All right, this is the general reading for June. And take what resonates, leave what doesn't. If it's not your story, don't try to make it fit. I'm just the person sitting here reading the energy and the tarot cards. You know your story better than I ever could. Also, if this does not resonate, I plan on uploading a love reading and a money reading over the next few weeks. So maybe one of those readings will resonate more with you if this one doesn't. Now that we got all that out the way, let's go ahead and jump into the reading. I'm going to start with my oracle deck. May I have the energy for Aquarius for June 2022. Energy for Aquarius for June. Energy for Aquarius for June. What is it that Aquarius needs to hear? What is it that Aquarius needs to hear? What is it that Aquarius needs to hear? Also, Aquarius, earlier, I was picking up some energy that you might be making a shocking offer to someone or someone might be making a shocking offer to you. As in, whoever the offer is made to, they will be caught totally off guard. Something's telling me to take both of these and I will. All right, I'm going to take one more. May I have a card, please? Whoa, that's too many cards. <laughs> May I have one card, please? Thank you. Okay, I got two cards. Two cards it is. <laughs> All right. Wow. <laughs> wow. Okay. This is star energy. That's star energy. Interesting. And then guy in awakening at the bottom of the deck. So that is preparing, relocation, ascension. Some of you might be relocating. That might be the shocking offer. <laughs> Someone wants you to move in with them or you want them to move in with you. The first card that came out is heart portal. That's the first card that came out. It says receptivity, generosity, mistrusting. Second card that came out is contemplation. Contemplation came out. Some of you may be contemplating on whether to make or accept an offer. I don't know why offer is on my mind. Again, take what resonates, leave what doesn't. Silence, knowing, releasing control. The third card to come out is illumination. It says expression, positivity, joy, inspiration. And then the fourth card that came out is emotional freedom. This just gives me Aquarius energy. This gives me star energy. It says vulnerability. Flowing, rebalancing. So some of you, I just heard some of you are letting go of expectations is what you're doing. Which one thing that Aquarians are known to do is they march to the beat of their own drum. That's what they do. And I really feel that a lot of you will be in that energy in June. Possibly letting certain things go and doing what makes you happy. Or should I say, because usually Aquarians do mostly what makes them happy anyway. But I will say it's more like you're giving it a kick, a booster or whatever. In the month of June. I feel, I'm thinking the summer solstice 
is what is going to give you like that extra boost. Some of you might be a little bit more, I don't know if daring is the word. What's the word? Adventurous. Some of you might be a little bit more adventurous in June where you're just like, I'm not even going to think about what can go wrong. I'm just going to do my thing and go for what can go right. Some of you will be opening your heart in June. I just heard put it all on the line. I kind of feel like that's going to be the attitude in general, not just in love. Like you're going to put it all like putting it all on the line. That's what I might title this putting it all on the line. In doing that. Let me get some more oracle cards from my angel deck. May I have the energy for Aquarius for June 2022. Energy for Aquarius for June. Energy for Aquarius for June. What is it that Aquarius needs to hear? 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 I'm getting the message. Okay. I just heard something. Aquarius, take what resonates, leave what doesn't. I'm just I'm I'm just the messenger. Please remember that while you are putting it all on the line and while you may be even more free than you normally are, Please remember that the internet is forever. I was told to give you that message. That's what I heard. Remember that the internet is forever. Throwing it out there. Take what resonates, leave what doesn't. What is it that Aquarius needs to hear? May I have some cards, please? What is it that Aquarius needs to hear? Wow, we just got four cards. Okay, we just... Getting the whole bunch, aren't we? All right. Ah. Wow. Okay. I get it. <laughs> That's why they all... Okay. <laughs> I'm like, why did I get all these cards? Okay. And they all go together. The first card that came out remained positive. I don't think that's going to be a problem. In June for you. I really don't. But apparently someone needed to hear it. Remain positive. The second card that came out is if you believe. Which falls into the remain positive category. The third card that came out is perfect timing. So something is happening in divine timing. So where you may not feel that it's happening fast enough. It will happen the way it is supposed to happen in perfect timing. Everything will work out perfectly. The fourth card that came out is within the next few weeks. Within the next few weeks. So definitely whatever this is, expect to see it happen over the summer. It will happen over the summer. You will know what this is better than me. And I'll take a few tarot cards right quick. Something's telling me to use my other deck. So I'm going to listen to that. May I have the energy for Aquarius for June 2022. Energy for Aquarius for June. Energy for Aquarius for June. But I'm still sticking with the title, putting it all on the line, because I really feel like that's what you're doing in June. What is it that Aquarius needs to hear? What is it that Aquarius needs to hear? May I have a card for Aquarius, please? What is it that Aquarius needs to hear? Thank you. Whatever this card is. May I have another card, please?
Whoa, that jumped out. May I have another card, please? Thank you. May I have another card, please? Too many. May I have another card, please? Thank you. That's interesting. The moon reversed and the king reversed. What's at the bottom of the deck? Six of cups. All right, that's interesting. So the moon, at the end of this, the moon reversed and the king reversed. There's something about some type of fear. You're going to be conquering your fears. You're not going to be in this energy anymore. Some of you may have been afraid to put it on the line. You're going to come out of that. Um, King of Swords energy is air energy. Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, specifically Gemini. Um, Moon energy is Pisces and Cancer. Some of you could be dealing with one of those signs or they could be in the chart. What I tell you, what did I, I told you there is an offer. You cannot make this up. So the first card that came out is the Ten of Wands. Fire energy. Aqu I was about to say Aquarius. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Then you have the Knight of Cups. Water energy. This is an offer. Someone's making an offer. In water energy, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Then you have the Queen of Cups. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Specifically Cancer. Some of you could be making an offer to a Cancer or a Cancer could be making an offer to you. Or it just could be water in someone's charts or what have you. I can tell you with the Ten of Wands here and then Six of Cups at the bottom of the deck. This is someone who's been in your life for a long time. They haven't been around for just a week or two. Going back to what I said before, I feel like someone is about to put it all on the line. If this isn't for a relationship, what I do see is someone letting go of any type of insecurity or self-doubt is what I see. They're dropping all of that. And they're telling the world, look at me, here I am. Knight of Cups, Queen of Cups is what they're doing. But honestly, I feel like this is related to a relationship. Some of you might be walking away, though, because the um, Queen plus the Knight plus the Six is eight. Is what it may be. So some of you may be walking away from it or they may be walking away from you. And then also with this cycle coming to an end with the 10. It could be that too. Regardless, I feel that you will be in the energy of putting it all on the line in the month of June. It's almost like you're, you're doing your thing. And I really feel that emotional freedom, this card right here, that is going to be you. And something just said to me, you're letting people see the real you. Something also just said to me that there may be an individual who before you were holding back from letting them see the real you. And now you're finally doing it. You're making the offer. Others of you, it could be the other way around. They were holding back from letting you see the real them. And now they feel emotionally free to do so. But remain positive if you believe perfect timing within the next few weeks. All right, Aquarius, that is what I have for you. KIRWKC.com, main podcasting platform. This podcast is carried on Apple, Spotify, Google, iHeartRadio, Pandora, Overcast, Bullhorn, Amazon Music, Audible, and several other podcasting platforms. 
please feel free to listen to this podcast on whatever platform is most convenient for you. K-I-R-W-K-C on all the social media platforms. Until next time, be blessed.